pre-production for a record is the process where you you come in with songs or ideas of songs to the studio and you think about how you can make them better we had about like eight songs that we were working with um, going into it the pre-pro for miracle was intense we had demoed without really ever having an intention of recording it with this session uh we had no clue what we were doing going into it oh. <laughs> we we're kind of stuck of what to do should we do a, a quick intro scratch? Well, I, well, I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to hear the ideas. We scrapped the verses, we scrapped the intro, we scrapped the bridge. Are we, are we still fleshing out the Tom idea? Yeah, yeah. don't even know, bro. Just we... Part sounds cool, but you got to think about the vocals, too. We were running through all the different possibilities for how that song could start how the verse could feel, how the bridge could feel, and we spent a long time working on that whole process. I, I, I love your idea of singing that over starting on this. Yeah. So how do we get there is my question. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe we do four times. Four times. Or yeah, however totally. long we felt totally. with the other but, vocal but, but, line. But maybe. it would be the G thing, and then we're done with that. And so like maybe, maybe two Gs and four of these. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah. So, The second day, what we did was set up the drums and set up, you know, um, I believe the, we set up a guitar, electric guitar, and, you know, just going all out in the beginning, kind of jamming it out and then going into the verse. You don't have an option to not get into it. Like, you have to get into this song. True, and the bigger it is in the beginning, the more room we have to take it down on the verse. Yeah. But I'm also, I, I dig what you're saying, like, the kind of just leading into it. We'd had different ideas for how to start the song. Um, originally, um, I think originally it started with drums. We so want we'll drums to figure out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Drums or no drums, we have to figure out what has to be there. Okay. Yeah. I want you to go boom boom ga boom boom ga boom boom ga boom boom ga ga and then go into a beat. That like what you just did, I guess. Or if you put a cymbal in there to replace like an open hi hat to replace one of those. Oh that's cool. That's ga. really cool. Something like that. I just love the way that feels. It's yeah, like it sounds cool, sick. It's yeah. a cool feel. When the verse comes, maybe it kind of chills out a little bit. Mm -hmm. What if you did a tom thing? Like a, and just to try it. Kick, it kicks in like huge, like we were talking about. So it's like kind of do both. And then the verse comes and it's like dead cut. Let's try all this. <laughs> Which one do y'all want to try first? Let's try that one. Where he's just doing that beat over and over again. Mm -hmm. We were gonna do maybe like a slow intro, like kind of ease into the first verse. Bass, 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 bass. Yeah. Boom, boom. Bass, 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 bass. And then come in right there with something. It could be cool to just start the song with that, with the guitar. The yes. And the first yeah. like, Yes. The first like beat of the ear is the chord. Better. That was a moment when I knew like this song was going to be something special. So after the first or second day when we figured out where we wanted to go with the song, um, you know me and Adam would be like playing Call of Duty or like doing something stupid and Sid would be in the studio, um, I guess he took an acoustic guitar and like wrote down some different lyrical ideas and 
Um, pretty sure. I think he did it all in one night, actually. It was cool because the next day, you know, the guys came in and, and I had to sing the scratch vocals that I had written. That was the first time everybody was hearing the verses that I'd written for that song. In that tie? What just like happened? Dude, yeah. I remember we got into the studio the next day and Zach and Kim were like, holy crap, dude, like that crap's awesome. I don't know if they're just being nice, but everyone seemed like it seemed like they liked it. Going to Zach and Ken to record is, it always doubles as like, I don't know, like a lunch expo for us in Alpharetta, Georgia. Probably my favorite place we ate when we were down there was um, Willie's. We're at Willie's. What? That's so good. It's like a really good like burrito place, kind of like Moe's and stuff. I got a go go chicken. Salsa, Alec, Gotta get that adobe chicken sauce. I personally think Chipotle is better, but I'm I think I'm alone. I maintain that Willie's is like here and Chipotle and all the rest are down here. Better than Moe's. I'm gonna step out and say to me, Chipotle, mm -hmm. take that. Mm -hmm. So, if you're in Atlanta or Alpharetta, go to Willie's.